Hi guys, Martin88 here and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video and today we are looking at my top 5 formations which is for online, okay? Now we're just over a month into FIFA now, I've played a lot of FIFA, um, I've spoken to a lot of pros and I feel like I've got a good idea about uh, what are the best formations on FIFA 22 right now. Of course they're all different because everybody has their own play styles, some people enjoy having two people up front, some people enjoy uh, having a cam, play narrow, play wide, all that sort of thing. So we've got something for everybody in this video, but without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so this is in no particular order, right, guys? But the first one that we are looking at is the 442, just bog standard 442, okay? Now, I would probably say that this is the formation I come up against the most. Um, and it's actually my second formation, and I know that um, it's Josh's second formation as well. And it just gives uh, it's just gives a nice balance across the pitch. But the main pro of using 442 is, of course, that you have the use of the two strikers which can create havoc really because if you've got a nice interchange between two decent strikers it it really can create um a lot of goal scoring opportunities plus if you've got the right tactics involved you can get the wingers involved so if you essentially got four people up front plus you've got the width you're still covered in the center so of course it uh, has an awful lot of pros for you the downside which is a massive downside for me because this is how i enjoy playing is that of course you don't have a cam with 442 so if you're somebody that is so used to playing with a cam or enjoys playing with a cam for your build-up play, then this obviously isn't going to work for you. But for me, that's the only downside of the 442. Okay, let's get into the next one. Okay, so next on my list, I have got 4-3-2-1, which if somebody had turned around and said that in FIFA 21, they would have looked at you like you've got two heads. But of course, every FIFA... Um, has a different meta, different style of play that people like to pick up and this year it is no difference. So what are the pros of this formation because a lot of people are playing with it. So the pros are that you are going to overcrowd the opposition in the middle of the pitch because it is a very narrow formation. So you are likely to win the ball back nice and high and nice and central. Um, it's essentially like playing with um, three strikers and you are just going to overpower them in the middle of the pitch. So if you're somebody who just likes to be on the front foot and go at them, Tick Attacker as well um, is another plus point of it because the players are so congested. But yeah, if you're somebody that likes to play aggressively on the front foot, through the middle, this is definitely for you. The downside, and for me, why I wouldn't want to use this, is there's no width. Really, there isn't that much width. Um... And it's just too congested, really congested. You've got three central midfielders and basically three strikers. So that middle of the pitch, you're going to have to be really on it when it comes to your tiki-taka passing or um, some skill moves. But obviously with skill moves being nerfed a bit, that obviously makes it harder. So yeah, um, there are pros and cons to this. Um, but still, a good formation for you to use because you always need to have different ones. So if you're using a wide one, it might be good to have this one in the locker. Let's get on to formation number three. Now, guys, this formation is a weird one for me, right? I hate playing against this, and it's the four triple two. So you'd think, well, Martin, use it yourself then. But I just can't seem to get on with it myself. But I hate playing against it. I really do. Now... There are, this is like, there's massive pros and massive cons for me on this one. It's huge risk and reward. So really, it could can be used as a really good formation uh, to use late in the day when you're trying to chase a goal. But people do start with this um, and fair play to them. Obviously, the huge advantage is, is that it's really attacking in the final third. It's almost like having uh, four strikers. So if you want to press really high up the pitch, really aggressive, not give them any time on the ball and of course if you adapt your tactics like that as well it can be really difficult to play against when one you when you receive the ball um at the back it's like in real life if a team presses you and you get through that you're then in quite a good position to um attack okay but yeah the pros are that you can really really get on the front foot and you could you could take a team by surprise and just steamroll them um early on the cons, right, the cons for me are that you're never really going to be in control of a game using 4 triple two because it is a little bit like um, 
you win the ball back, you're literally firing it up the field to um, create an attack. You either score or you don't. And then when the opposition get it, it's just going to be a little bit backwards and forwards. It's not going to be settled down at all. So you're probably going to struggle to have complete control over a game. I'm talking about, obviously, if you're playing against somebody that's of similar standard to you. If you're playing somebody that's lesser standard, you could basically play any formation. But, yeah. Polar opposites, this one. The, the pros are really high in reward, and I think the cons are, you know, are quite costly, which is probably why it's good to have in your back pocket if you are chasing a goal, but I still like it very, very much. Let's get on to the next one. Okay, this one might surprise you a little bit, but it's one that I've been told that a few pros are using, and I've used this in previous FIFAs and always liked it, and when I first started playing online, I gave it a go and then it was a little bit like, oh, you know, what are you playing that formation for? So I changed. But I do like this and it is the 4-3-3 4 version. So basically what that means is that um, instead of it just being a normal 4-3-3, you've got two central midfielders and a cap, as you can see on screen there. Um, the pros of it are that it's really attacking and you get a cam involved, which for me is something that I really, really like and it'll just give you loads of options and with the having two central midfielders and not CDMs um, you can have loads of options up the pitch you've got at least six players there and that's without a fullback um, getting involved so yeah a formation with loads of options for me and a nice bit of width as well if you want that so you're able to spread the play control the game uh, if you want to so yeah a lot of good points for it the cons are as I just said that they're two central midfielders and a cam and not CDMs, right? So if you end up losing the ball, it's likely that all you're going to have there is your back four, okay? Which is obviously a problem because then you can get overrun and concede goals. So yeah, it probably, the, the downside of it is, or sorry, the overview of this formation is that it leans quite heavily towards the attacking side of things and you could be left exposed defensively. But, still an enjoyable formation. Okay, on to the last one, and this is one that you are not going to be surprised about. It'll be no surprise to you that our last formation is our tried and trusted friend, and it is the 4-2-3-1. Purposely left it till last, because I thought a lot of you would be thinking, well, he's obviously going to put that in. And you're right, I am going to put it in. And... When I was talking to a couple of pros about this and about their opinions on these formations, that's where I've got a lot of my knowledge from, it's not just my opinion, is that it's probably the most balanced formation in the game. Now, if you swing one way or the other, if you're very conservative, um, but maybe it's, it's not for you, but equally, if you're very attacking and aggressive, it's probably not for you. But... If you want to play a nice balanced game and you want to try and control games and uh, build up slowly, then this very much is the one for you. And we think that it offers everything because you have um, width with your wingers, you've got CDMs um, so that you're not exposed defensively, you've got a cam as well. So yeah, for me, it's just the all-round uh, package. The cons of it are if you are somebody that uh, wants to build up uh, fast build up then obviously it isn't going to be um, for you but if you are a feel a fast build up player it might be nice to have something different in your locker but guys there we go that is my top five formations for FIFA 22 at the moment uh, maybe go and give a couple of them a try if you're struggling at the moment and I hope that it helps some of you but guys that is it for today please drop a like on the video subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you tomorrow see you later guys bye bye